is a problem going here doing these bloody gates especially when you're by yourself hours of driving left a bit early left at 1 30 this morning well it looks like I'm finally getting somewhere I'm absolutely knackered but good drive beach driving had them down to 25 on the drive-in because of the corrugations but they were actually worse than what I remembered but anyway all good head of the great Australian bite just about to head onto the beach now Ew, how cool is it love this place cliffs right there and they run down and this beach goes for about 20 odd k's on. Well, finally got here. Day one. Um, I fucked up up and down the beach. Pretty much went the whole length. Uh, one, I wanted to have a look, but yeah. There's a lot of wicked gutters, but you couldn't really camp them, um, especially with Alex coming as well. So, um, not overly happy with a campsite, but hey, it's gonna, it's gonna do, but I'm just absolutely fucking exhausted. Um, the gutter looks okay. I'd, yeah it's hard to tell um, it looks good very calm at the front choppy around it but we'll see see if it produces anything I'm probably not going to fish today I'm absolutely fucked um, just had a couple of beers and almost like yeah as soon as we got here I just sat down on the beach and almost fell asleep and I thought oh, I'd better get the few things set up but anyway here's, here's the camp there she is set up don't even know if we're going to sleep in the slag tonight. I might just put my stretcher out and just sleep on that. Um, that'll be comfy as. I kind of wish I blew up my, I bought my um, little blow up, blow up uh, mattress, but um, I didn't bring it. Didn't think I was going to need it. But anyway, it was so bloody hot. Cool changes come in, so that's cool. Uh, very misty today. I'll check back in later. Well, it's day two, 40 plus degrees again. Absolutely fucking smashing me. I've got no phone reception today. Um, 
tide came in so high last night, so I didn't even know, but um, yeah, washed me out. Luckily, it didn't fuck up the fridge or anything. Um, so I packed up this morning about seven o'clock and moved to a different location. It's just it come in ridiculously high everywhere. Uh, about three o'clock it was, apparently. Anyway, here's what it is. Um, so I'm in a different spot, so I've set up twice now and packed down once. Um, to be honest, I'm actually, this gutter looks better um, here, so yeah, so just um, see how we go with that. But yeah, uh, interesting day. First one on the board for this trip. Little salmon, he's going to be used as bait. Um, a bit smaller than the ones last year, weighed, came in at 73 centimetres. Um, but uh, still a good sized fish. Um, hopefully, he's going to get the mully. Well, day three, morning everyone. Uh, finally, yeah, feel like I'm settled in a bit now, which is awesome. So, um, camp's set up. I haven't worried about putting the awning walls up because it's just getting windy and yeah, it's just a big head fuck. But um, got the awning double strapped down. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, yeah, I think I crashed for about. I think I went to bed about nine o'clock last night. and Got up about nine to so twelve hours, but I was absolutely exhausted with all the heat yesterday. Um, yeah, that like flogged me, but like, it cooled down, and we had some storms, and it just pissed down. It was just, just unreal, but yeah, it's what it is. Uh, just having a coffee this morning. Um, get up. Um, starts. Yeah, probably start fishing in a minute. Um, water looks okay today, but it changes all the time. So we'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, down here at Dog Fancy Realty. Still day three. Today is being ridiculously slow. But, uh, yeah, not even a bit today. It's been bad. And I fished pretty hard today. I was just talking to a crew. Um, yeah, 
way down it looks like you may still a bit of way to go around. Just waiting for this way to, to cross now. Um, and then uh, you can throw some uh, stuff out and see, see how we go. Anyway, all good. Day five, hopefully Big Mully. We are heading into a dodge tide at the moment. I think it's complete dodge on about Sunday. Um, but yeah, well, some people love them. Yesterday it was a pretty not event uh, most of the day. About four o'clock salmon came in, so I was just catching salmon after salmon, all ranging uh, up to about 75 centimetres, so not as big as last year's ones, but yeah, still bloody good size. Um, had a shower this morning, feel so much better. Oh god, I should have done that yesterday. Uh, but anyway, yeah, feeling great today. Um, so yeah, about to get stuck into them, so I've got a ton of fresh salmon bait, which is sick. Um, Wags and um, Jacob have gone down the beach, not sure where they are, but they left there about oh, 5 o'clock, they left their camp, um, and then headed down there, so hopefully they're doing alright. Um, yeah, about to get into them, all new rig today, uh, new, new hooks and stuff like that, throw those ones out. Just, won't take the general tackle um, as sharp as possible. Anyway, I'll keep you updated as the day goes through. Well, 2022 has come to a fucking end. Was it a good year? I reckon it was alright. Not bad. Had its ups and downs. Um, yeah, look, it was a um, good year. I managed to get away, fished a lot, which was pretty cool. Um, I caught my PB Mulloway this year, which was the same trip I'm doing right now, but um, last year. But yeah, no, look, great year. Uh, really cool, um, just being able to do what I do and not get any grief for that, so I take my hat up to Renee. Um, just give me shit because, yeah, just lets me do, do my thing and this is what I fucking love doing. How much I love this. I lose sleep thinking about this shit. Just getting out here, doing this. Whether I catch a fish or not, it's irrelevant. This is just me. And I look, most of the time I do it by myself. Um, it's great. Um, not, not, not that I want to do it by myself, it's just, that's, yeah. I just um, love doing it. And look, not a lot of people can do this. You can't spend two weeks out in a remote location uh, if something goes wrong I'm about three to four hours away from any sort of help um, if I get bit by a snake I'm fucked if I, well, I not I love snakes but um, you know shit like that but if something does go wrong I'm, I'm a fair way away having to shit outdoors piss outdoors that many people have seen me naked this trip, it's ridiculous. Um, for some reason, I always I decide to take a shower as soon as someone drives past. Um, or going to the toilet, someone <laughs> drives past. It is what it is. We have it, everyone has a chuckle. Uh, we move on and get over it. It's, it's pretty cool. But look, I am just so fucking grateful that I can do shit like this. It's awesome. It is so cool. I'm 12 hours from home right now um, by car um, and 
Look, the, the, it's just amazing, the shit you see. Well, I'm, I'm sitting here and I just look up. And what's really cool, and I've been thinking of this since day one, looks like I've got amongst sand dunes and stuff, which is really cool. And then they've got like a lot of vegetation growth. And on the back of that is just a dead, barren, white sand dune. And I've tried to take photos of it and you just can't, it doesn't capture what I'm actually seeing. It's really, really cool. And you know, just shit like that, you just can't explain to someone, like say, oh, you know, it's really cool. You just got like a dead sand dune. And they're like, yeah, I really want to see that. But hey, that's me. I love this shit. Look, I hope you guys have a great 2022 New Year's and look, I wish you all the best for 2023. It's going to be a big year. Um, I've, uh, you know, finally I've, I've settled into a job that I absolutely love. Um, it, it's amazing, it's great, I've got great people to work with. And they actually appreciate the work that you do, which is really cool. So, you know, really happy. But I did need some time to recharge, reset the batteries. I've still, you know, I've got another week or just over a week down here doing this. Then I go home for a few days um, and uh, then I'll take the kids away to Salt Creek, which is my other place that I love. Um, you know, so I spent five days down there with the kids, uh, which is really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to that too. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is Shawnee. Check it out, 2022. All the best. Great New Year's, guys. a new year new me all that sort of crap no nah. anyway um pearl of a morning here today day seven or whatever the fuck it is new year's day so whatever day that lands on um fished till about 3 30 last night i got bitten off twice two massive bites and hooks and bait gone both times uh obviously a shark of some sort <clears throat> But I didn't even get to have some fun with it. Anyway, is what it is. Happened before, it'll happen again. Still no mull away. A little bit depressing. But anyway, still having a ball. Um, yeah, it's just gonna it's gonna be a cracker of a day today, I think. Um, there's just no wind, not even a breeze. Um, so yeah. But oh, I'll probably just sit here, chill for a minute, and then uh, get my rods out. Uh, we've got a little bit of tide movement today, which is good. Um, so, yeah, the water's pretty flat, which is not good. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll uh, get into it a bit later and, um, yeah, see how we go. Have fun. What an absolute fucking cracker of a day. How good is this shit? Unfortunately, just wish there was a little bit more chop in the water. But, oh well. No, it's no breeze. It's gonna be pretty warm. I'd say it's at least 30 already. Good news is I got the drain up again this morning. Had another good look at my gutter. Yeah, it's all right, eh? There is a better one a bit further down, but that's more of a hole. Um, where I'm fishing, there's good inlets and outlets. Yeah, I'm the only cunt on the fucking beach. Hasn't caught a mull away this so far. Well, I have. That was 30 centimetres. But it's not about catching fish. Well, it kind of is. But loving it, having an absolute ball out here. A week in, or a week, tomorrow will be a week, I think. Another week to go.
Yep, it's a no shirt kind of day today. I think I've gone a bit cast away. Just living out here, gone feral. Love it. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, I fucking love this shit so much. This is so good. This is exactly what I need, like for your own mental health. Just get out of here. Just do it, man. If you love this shit, just fucking do it. Don't be afraid. Get a four-wheel drive. Hire one, borrow one, whatever you gotta fucking do. Do shit like this. This is what it's all about. It's just living. So good. See all these crews that come down here, they're down here for one or two days. I can I know they have a good time, but I'd do it weeks on end. I'd do this shit for a month if I could. I really, really would. Fuck it, I'd do it for six months. A year. I'd... Quite honestly, I could live this. If I didn't have people that relied on me, to be an absolute sales gun, I would be out here just, just living here. Living off grid, doing it so good, so, so good. Already I'm stressing about having to go home and I've got another week and I'm stressing about it. It's the first thing I thought of, oh no, I've only got a week left when I wake up this morning. got to live for these moments so so good stay true legends fucking devo oh I just pulled hooks on a 50 60 plus pounder it was bigger than the one I got last year it was definitely a mulloway it just had big big pulls big head shakes it was fucking textbook it was beautiful it was glorious <sighs> until spat hooks so i am crying a fucking river just fuck fuck thought I would have gotten over it by now it's been about five minutes ten minutes actually it's probably been about 20 minutes but I can't fucking shake it day night day fucking night every day every night cast 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 till three four in the morning you get your fucking opportunity and it just doesn't work out right for you Oh well. Bait it up, back in, two rods. Going fucking hard. Oh. I could cry. Just fucking cry. I think I did, actually. A little bit. There was some tears running out. I wasn't sure if it was sweat or tears running down my cheek. Oh, we're back out here. Doing it again. Getting better. Still smaller than last year, but this one went 75 centimeters. Almost ripped the poor bugger's um, jaw, jaw off setting the hooks, but anyway. Well, it's still devoed from this morning's loss. Still relieving it. All good, all good. Getting over it eventually. Um, I did have something today which was really cool.
haven't touched any of my bait, so it's cool. Um, yeah, so that double hookup was pretty cool. Um, Today's been pretty awesome weather all day. I think it's turning a bit. I think tomorrow gets a bit rougher, and then uh, Tuesday, tomorrow's Monday. Today, I think it's Monday. Um, yeah, tomorrow's meant to be eight. Uh, and then Tuesday. And it's like that for a few days, so anyway. All is good. Hopefully the weather, the water, is looking sick at the moment. Fishy as. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that big slab of silver is sitting in there somewhere with my name written all over it. Anyway, all is good. Day nine, just having an absolute chill day. I got out this morning, fished, caught another couple of salmon. I, I, I'm fucking over them. <laughs> uh, best problem ever to have. I've caught in excess of 30 of them so far, all ranging between five and seven kilos. Um, bloody good fish, but yeah, just um, I'm sorry, bloody good sized salmon. Um, just uh, yeah, they're just everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, but oh, I wish the kids were here; they would love it so much catching them because they go hard. They jump out of the water. It's, it's so bizarre. Like you'll be sitting there, and you just see this salmon jump out of the water. You're like, "Fuck, who's on?" And you look at one of your rods, and you're like, "Oh yeah, it's that one." And you just see it's buckled over. But um, it's not what we're here to catch here for the big mully but um yeah look i'm just having a chill day i'm just fucking knackered absolutely exhausted so i got up about 8 30 8 o'clock 8 30 um fished till about 10 30 then went back to bed and i didn't get up till like three again so i was just yeah just sign take it take it easy today but we'll fish hard tomorrow um i'm hoping to fish tonight too as well because but the weeds really come in quite thick right now um, I'm not sure what the time is what is the time it's 4.30 now um, I had no phone reception today either uh, yeah so see what happens um, so I wouldn't mind doing the night session again tonight but um, see what the weed's like plus I've got so much bait uh, that I've got to get rid of so. all good I'll check in tomorrow. Ciao. Finally, so fucking happy. It's made this trip. That one fish makes everything worthwhile. I wish I would have swam. It does break my heart to see these fish not go back to the water, but. Oh man. <laughs> After dropping that one the other day. Makes this fish all that much more sweeter. Oh fuck, so fucking happy. Uh, you can tell 
Yeah. If you're watching me and my body, yeah. my um, uh, body language, you knew that was something special that was on that. Been catching so many salmon. I think I'm up around the 40 mark at the moment. Again, between that five, seven kilo mark. And in the end, I was just walking to my rod. That one I almost jumped over this bloody table to get to. I was like second guessing this gutter. I was, so I knew they were catching them up further and then down a bit further. And I'm like, nah, the gutter looks all right. The gutter looks all right. Just, just hang in there. I got the drone up to double check a few different times. It just wasn't producing. Like I was catching salmon after salmon, but not just wasn't holding the big fish, the big mulloway that I was after. Luckily, because I almost packed up and left yesterday, or not left, but went to a different, um, find a different gutter. But I didn't. I persevered. <sighs> Fucking beauty. Woo! Oh, day nine. Uh, fishing again. Very, very cloudy today. Um, gutter looks good again. Still running off the high of uh, catching that one yesterday. I had a pretty good sleep in this morning. I just slept until, well, I woke up about seven, but yeah, just lied in bed till around 10 ish. Um, yeah, so back at it again. Um, I only go on one rod because I really don't. As much as I want to catch another one, I, if it doesn't swim, I. I I'll probably have to pack up and go home, um, just to, so I don't we don't waste it. But um, yeah, what a day yesterday was! And it was the same day this time last year that I got the other one as well. <coughs> so the one yesterday was a couple of centimeters smaller, um, but it was much fatter. Yeah, yeah, it was real, real healthy fish. Um, like I said, yeah, I would have preferred for it to swim away, but I had to remove everything around, put my second fridge as a freezer uh, to fit it in. I uh, haven't had any reception for a few days yet, and I don't think, by the looks of it, I don't reckon I'll get any today either. Um, so, yeah, haven't been able to tell anyone. Um, yeah, wish my mate sort of was made it down here it's always good to share those experiences with someone else anyway um, see how we go today I've stopped taking pictures and videos of all the salmon because there's just too many of them as I said last night I'm up around the 40 mark or something like that that I've caught I don't know um, like they're wicked fun I really like it'd be so good if the kids were here because they would absolutely love catching them they're so much fun they go hard just that, like, they jump out of the water, they go nuts, and they swim up and down the beach. Oh, God, that they would love it, catching them. Um, and, like, just fun fish. Like, they, like I said, they just go nuts, and the kids onto them, and something like that, you know, they'd be so happy with. But, yeah, it's good fun, good fun. I'm actually really enjoying watching these seagulls and albatrosses and that. Um, I've been feeding them. They're my only company. I haven't spoken to anyone of oh, two or three days. I oh, definitely, no, about three days, four days. Uh, not face to face anyway. I've spoken to Renee, but uh, that was a couple of days ago when I had a phone reception. But um, yeah, that's about it. So, they're my little buddies just sitting over there doing their thing. They're my mates. Having a bit of a feed and fighting over the food that I've been giving them. Yeah, they seem to be getting to know me and me getting to know them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I've gone full castaway. Not sure yet. I haven't got a blow up ball that I've called Wilson. Not yet. Soon. Well, don't know what the fuck that was. Well, I've got an idea. But I pretty much have a 14,000 Tiger on full lock. 
ridiculous. Um, I thought it was pretty much going to spoil me at one stage. I knew there was nothing I could do. There was nothing. Um, I was just glad I finally broke so I didn't have to replace all the line as well. Uh, yeah. Fuck. Love that shit. But that's what you get down here. Was, uh, yeah, I was obviously a fairly big shark. Um, but yeah, it would have been with a wire trace, big barrels, that would have been fun. But yeah, anyway, here's what it is. That was cool though. That's why you love the west coast. Mind you, you get that shit down at Salts as well. It's happened to me a few times down there. Not like that, that was crazy. But I've never had my drag fully locked. Bring it up, get back out there. That's why I fucking love this shit. It's so cool. So what we're gonna get. Like seriously, I was just standing back there. Next minute rod just buckles over. The most that that rod's ever been buckled over. It's a sense of surf. And you just like get to our like reels, lines is nearly just get the absolute smoke. And like uh, so I put it tried to stop it because I was down it was probably hard my small lines, but that wasn't stopping it. So I cranked it all the way up. Slowed it a bit. Then it stopped. I was like, alright, cool. So I managed to get about a metre, maybe two metres back. And then it went again, so I've just locked it. And it just fucking went, nah, fuck this. And absolutely smoked me. And I was just going, well, there's nothing I can do now. Just sit in here and enjoy the ride. Fuck, it's so cool. Love this shit. Um, had to be. I don't know how big the shot that would have been. That would have been massive. Just fucking massive. So cool. So cool. But yeah. 14,000 Saltiga could not even stop it at all. So it was big. Um, those, the Tigers have got 25 kilos of drag on them. I grabbed it, tried to pull it to see if I could do anything. Couldn't even budge it. Fucking monster. But yeah, so cool. So cool. Love this shit. Yep. Day 10, uh, pretty quiet day, but I did um, pack up this morning and then head in uh, just to call the girls and Renee. Um, everything's all good at home, but yeah, when it's just been a few days and you haven't had any reception, um, you're by yourself. Sometimes your mind just sort of wanders a little bit and just one, you know, is everything okay and all that sort of stuff. So I just thought, you know what. So drive, in, drive in, get some reception. Luckily I didn't have to go too far, so I think it all up was probably about a three hour round trip. Um, so that wasn't too bad. I got back here about one o'clock. Um, 
yeah, fished, only got the one salmon today. It's been really slow. Um, yeah, normally been on about four or by now. They kept on looking smaller to me, so uh, when I caught this one, I was like, oh, that's smaller. But um, it was still came in at 76 centimetres, so um, yeah, not a bad size salmon. Um, yeah, so I just obviously put that straight on bait. I had another three here, but they just looked a bit worse to wear. Um, and yeah, gave them to one of my mates down here anyway. Um, so that was cool, nothing goes to waste. But yeah, all good, a bit slow. Hoping, I just really, I'd love to get one more. One more Mully would be sick, but yeah, anyway, all is good. So that's pretty much what day's end looks like here. Just got to got your salmon, the bait. Well, I do anyway. Um, and then, uh, yeah, set to go for the whole night and hopefully you get another one the next day, which you usually do. If not, you just revert back to your squid and that catches a salmon and you use your fresh salmon. Perfect. Well, day 11, uh, got a bit average this morning when I woke up, so I ended up having a shower and then going back to bed, but um, yeah, it looks like having a bit, not a bad day today, uh, better than what I was expecting, so I managed to get more yesterday, so for tomorrow and Saturday is meant to look really good, meant to be going home on Monday, uh, but I reckon I might go home Sunday, Sunday looks a bit average. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably getting a little bit, not homesick, but yeah, I'm just missing the kids who remain uh, uh, a bit at the moment. So that will actually give me two whole weeks um, on a solo trip. It's the longest I've done by myself, with no one to really speak to. Um, so, it's just cool. I, I love it, I'm quite happy with that, and it certainly doesn't bother me. It's, yeah, just in some ways I actually prefer it but um, yeah so far it's been an awesome trip watch those sand dunes behind me change shape completely different today to what they were yesterday um, yeah no, I love looking over at those especially at the golden hour it's awesome but about to bait up throw a bait in patchy weed around again really consistent it's been like that the whole trip Certainly fishable, that's just probably more annoying than anything. But yeah, see how we go today. Um, yesterday, when we go, ended up getting like three or four salmon, quite a gummy shark, and of course, something. Yeah, last night, which I don't know what it was, but it was really weird. Had the um, same dorsal fin slightly like, like, all the way. Just finished fishing. Um, today was the biggest fishing flop day ever. Um, didn't really catch fucking anything. It wasn't a donut. Um, got a little bronzy. And saying that, he still broke off a shore break, which is cool because it saved me unhooking him and having to release him. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, caught a couple of Mulloway. Not the big slabs I was after, but nonetheless. Uh, what else? I think it was something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nah, it, was, it turned out to be quite a nice day. It blew its tits off, but it hasn't stopped blowing its tits off. It's just been windy as fuck the whole time. Um, it was just cold, didn't bother me. It just makes it a little bit harder to cast. 
Um, but yeah, no, good day. Um, other than not catching any fish, a lot more people have rocked up. But look, as a general rule, Mulloway tend to bite with hotter weather. Um, I wouldn't say the next couple of days are going to be hot, so I'd say it's that it's um, there's going to be nice weather. So, whether these people are turning up now because they're just fair weather fishermen, and fuck, do they piss me off? Um, fish it. Don't ask what the if there's weed there. Just go out and fucking fish it. There's weed everywhere. The fucking seaweed comes in the ocean. Oh fuck, they piss me off. Just seriously. If you're chasing Mulloway and you're worried about weed or you're worried about the weather or whatever, you just, you're doing it wrong. You're chasing the wrong fish. Um, Mulloway are there. If you're there, you've got more chance of catching one than not being there. Anyway, that's my little rant. Anyway, I could crap on about that for ages, but anyway. Look, so tomorrow's going to be a nice day hopefully hopefully I'll get some reception and touch base with the kids and, and all of that um yeah alright I'm going to sleep well day 12 or 11 not sure anyway it's Friday uh, um yep it's clearing up skies are blue as it's wicked um Hoping for a good day tomorrow, so weather's warming up, so hopefully might bring on the chew. If I could get one more, that would be absolutely sick. Um, yeah, I'll be really, really wrapped if I could just get one more. Anyway, fingers crossed, see what happens. Going to give it my best shot. Um, so far today, I've had the one fucking hook up, and I happened to be on the phone to bloody snowies at the time. Um, just because, yeah, I was meant to get a fridge slide that was meant to come this week and it hasn't come. But anyway, look, they've been amazing. Love Snowies. Their, their customer service is second to none. Um, anyway, that's all been sorted. Um, so I'll have that time for when I get back. So I can put, put that in quickly and then head off to Salt Creek a week later. But um, yeah, a lot more people have rocked up today. Um, so fishing will be tough. Uh, I have obviously a lot, there's a lot more rods out at the moment. There's some really good Mulloway fishermen that have rocked up too. Um, so yeah, it's going to be tough work. But got my gutter, and I'm fishing it like a champion. Anyway, all good. So hopefully get onto one. Um, yeah, sounds cool. See that, that's the lowest I've seen the tide uh, since I've been here. It's ridiculous how far it's gone out. But it's really cool because I hope it just really shows you the gutters. Like there's a big sandbar right in the center of my two rods. You can see them. 
and then the gutter goes in and around that so there's an inlet and an exit which is exactly what you want um, so yeah nah, all good all good but um, yeah I'll just sort of show that just so more for my reference later on yeah it's really cool day 13 today I think uh, absolutely beautiful day unfortunately not doing a lot of the water um, so I'm not really holding my breath today it's getting anything decent um, high tides right now looks a little bit better than what it did but yeah it's the gutters very shallow um, low tide very shallow High tides like, will be okay, uh, fills with water. But um, yeah, so I'm not really holding my hopes on getting anything decent today. Last night, just got one. I didn't measure it, but probably barely legal. Uh, but yeah, threw it straight back. And then two others, or three others, uh, got bitten off by a shark. Uh, but yeah. I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, it was pretty cool watching this shark just swim in really close to the water's edge. That was that was wicked. Enjoyed that. Um, I've decided I'm probably going to pack up. Today's going to be my last day. Uh, I'm going to pack up, go home tomorrow, um, which gives me right on two weeks. As I said, that's probably the longest solo mission I've, I've done. Um, and a lot of that was without phone reception, so I couldn't speak to the girls or anything like that. So it like, sort of doesn't really help with anything. But all in all, what a sick, sick trip. Um, all up, about 50 salmon caught, five to seven kilos. Um, obviously got the monster slab, um, which was the highlight for me, obviously. Um, one bronzy, few gummies. Um, yeah, so been an awesome, awesome trip. Um, so I'll head back tomorrow, drive all day tomorrow, get back tomorrow night. Uh, then a week at home, and then looking forward to taking the girls down to Salt Creek for a few days, five days. So Monday through to Friday. Um, yeah, it should be good. So I'm looking forward to getting home. So yeah, pack up tomorrow and head back. But still got today. Um, like I said, not holding my breath today, but obviously we're still trying, but yeah, let's see how we go. Well, day 14, and that's a wrap, baby. Um, fuck, what a cool, cool trip. Just packed up, about to head off to the beach now. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, from rocking up day one, getting washed out that night by a couple of rogue waves, moving campsite the next day, hitting 45 plus degrees, it was ridiculous. Having no energy, um, catching s all those salmon, um, so much fun. Getting, getting my one pride catch that right away. That was awesome. Um, last couple of days have been real flop though. Um, my gut has changed. I could have gone back tomorrow or the day later, but I would have had to pack up Moose Spot anyway. Um, so my gut is just shit. Uh, but yeah, so decided to go home today. Really keen to see the kids and Renee and stuff. So and Luna. Uh, poor dog. Um, but yeah, so that's it for 2022-23 dog fence trip. Um, planning begins pretty much now for the next one. So that will probably be taking place same time, 26 December, two weeks. And yeah, to start prepping everything again for that. So right now, uh, it's 12 hour drive home. Um, Tomorrow will be clean up. When uh, Tuesday I'll be fixing a few things, putting in a new fridge slide, putting in some fridge mounts for the second fridge. Um, something else I had to do on Wednesday. 
can't remember. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, then, yeah, bit of a tidy up and uh, then down to Salt Creek for next week with the girls. So, yeah, should be good. Ah, I'm out.